Hi, welcome to Cat Dad Gaming. Today we're playing Doors Paradox, uh, mainly because it's free on Epic and I kind of like the look of this game. Um, seems like it's a chill puzzler, but in my defense, it does also have the horror tag, even if it doesn't really look horror. And there's a cat. What more can I say? <laughs> so with that, let's jump on the game and see what it's all about. So from the uh, trailer, I guess to me, it kind of looked like uh, a puzzler in the same vein as The Room, if you have played The Room. It's basically you like do some kind of puzzles to kind of expand and go and, you know, click on the flower to zoom in. Oh, you guys get to do the tutorial with me. Uh, let's hold your hand time like they do in uh, Undertale. Okay, rotate the pot. Ah, oh, that's cute. Hook. I will take the hook. Thank you. Right click to zoom in and out. Now swipe to look around. Ah, oh, this looks really nice. Take the doorknob. That's a doorknob? What? Okay. And I assume I swoop back around. Put the doorknob in the door. Pull the rope. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, apparently me and the game have different orders of what we're doing. Click on the broken vase. Or vase. There's a key. Nice. Yeah, I like I like these kind of games. I don't play them very often though. Um, okay, in that case, let's open this. Swipe the lock. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Swipe that lock. Okay, we have a 40 clover gem. And dear me. Ah, you've been in a bad accident. Please follow me. So instead of follow the white rabbit, it's follow the black cat. Okay, so what do we have? Yeah, drag object to use it. Okay, so you put the lock in. <laughs> the lock in the key, put the key in the lock. Which broke it? Okay. So another hook. A glowy gem. And a toggle. Ooh, another gem. Uh, hard to tell what's actually useful for the game or not. Um, right, that goes in there? Okay. Oh, I'm bad shape, I just swore that was the door knob I went. Alright, so that looks like what's a hook. And a chain link for here. And a door knob. Aha! I'm a genius, I can do the tutorial of a game. Oh, that's a cool uh, cool game. I like this. <gasps> Hello. Oh, that's cool. Alright, <laughs> I'm on board. Well, that's the game, I think, in a, a nutshell. So, uh, grab a tea or coffee and come for some chill door puzzling. Um, yeah, it does, does have very room vibes to it. Um, which is quite cool, I, I do like that. So what do we have? We have a gem up top. A crowbar. Okay, take the crowbar. Let's take the magic book. I am a messenger of chaos, and I mean you no harm. Okay, well I can believe that a cat is a messenger of chaos quite happily. Okay. Oh. Ah. Uh, medallion. Sweet. I should zoom out. Uh, so what do we have? We have... Oh! Crowbar! Haha! <laughs> There's me like, I'm gonna keep clicking on this box. That gets us a cog. A ring. And the crowbar's gone? Okay, oh, I can just open it. I'll take another ring then, thank you. <laughs> uh, ah. Yeah. I was just clicking on stuff. What did that do? Oh. Oh. Right. oh okay. I'll take another ring. Guess we're done there. <laughs> I find these games are really funny because I have no idea what they want you to do, so it's usually uh, just click on stuff and see what happens. Oh! Do you go inside? Do you go inside? I don't know what to do now. 
keep flipping around. Aha! What's this? Okay. Ooh, the puzzle. Okay, I assume I can spin round. Okay. Do I have some sort of indicator for what this wants? Like... Am I being dumb? Uh... Usually there's like some sort of like symbol or something that you would uh, do for this puzzle. Maybe it's ones that like that. Okay. The gold. <laughs> I was being dumb. <laughs> Alright, so that gets me a big ass key. Is that enough to escape? Boom. Yeah! Oh, it's nice. Nice game. Oh, I missed the gems. Yeah, it's a good thing I looked at Epic, because I've been uh, wanting to play um, Doki, Doki Literature Club, yeah, Doki Doki Literature Club for a while. And uh, I actually have it downloaded, the free version. And I mean, we mean to play it. And I saw that next week the game is the actual full version of Doki Doki, which is quite nice. Uh, yeah. So, spoilers, I'll probably be playing that quite soon. Um, what have we got? We have something up here. Two greens, two blues, two reds. But I can't click on any of this stuff. Alright, I'll come back to you later. Never scroll. You were once little and carefree, full of unlimited potential. That feels very much like my uh, pre-ADHD days. Okay. So I've got a hammer, a well which probably needs some sort of bucket like this to go. It's a spin round. It's like there was a blue gem on the floor. What are you? A vase or a vase. Gem collected. <laughs> Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, oh dear, there are symbol. So the left one is on the triangle and the right one is on the weird H. Alright, so let me zoom in please. So you were here. And you were uh, there. Oh, it wants to be full of water. That would make sense. Am I being... Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, am I being dumb? The answer is yes, again, a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, so if you like uh, puzzle games or things like this, let me know, because I actually have a load of other games like, you know, Escape Academy or like mystery games and stuff that I've been wanting to play, but they're not quite horror, so I've been kind of holding off, but um... I have to zoom in. There we go. Yeah. And I assume I can now fill up this with water. Huh. Okay. Okay, now I have to change the levels. Okay. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Cylinder. Uh. Ah, I assume Sender goes in the door. Oh. And it'll probably be here. Green, green, blue, 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 red, red, red. Okay. So. Can I change those? So I want to make the green... Oh, I can spin it this way. So green, green, blue, blue, 
red, red. And that's it. There we go. Green, green, blue, blue, red. Hey! We done? <gasps> Follow the cat into the door. Nice, nice little gig. So I'll play this for a little bit and uh, three levels are there. Oh, that's quite a few levels. Summer Sunset. Oh, that's a nice name. <laughs> Today it's the sunniest day it's been in a while. Uh, like I said, it's been like minus. Ooh. Yeah, so it's been like minus 20. Then last week it's been like minus one or two. And today it's like zero and it's sunshine and it's that weird, you know, if you've ever been skiing and it's like sunny and cold at the same time, it's kind of like that outside. Um, a weirdly conflicting web of my brain. It's got a log of wood. A green part. Okay. Are you anything? No, you're a lie. But you. Aha. Matches. A blue gem. So something tells me I'm gonna have to make fire for this chimney. Steam. And uh, green part goes in here maybe? Okay, I have no idea what those mean. So we'll come back to you. This little chicken hatch looking thing, you go anything? No. Red part. Okay. Take an axe. So uh, I actually found out I actually quite like chopping wood. Um, but I guess I wouldn't like chopping wood if I had to do it all the time. I think chopping wood is fine if I'm just doing like a quick batch of wood. Okay, wood goes in the oven. No? How does wood not go in there? I'm confused. Okay. I was sure that would be wood goes in there, makes fire, which does something up here. Oh. Okay. Make the wood into kindling. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. There we go. Then we light the wood. Yeah, then we close the door. Okay, they did it automatically, but nice. Which is going to boil me steam, so we've got a turbine. Okay. Oh! Something's happening. So, it makes steampunk stuff happen. <laughs> oh, which gives me the clue. Which is... Uh, oh, that looks like it moves. Aha! Okay. Ah, okay. We'll we'll leave you for now. Uh, one, two, three, four, and two, four and two. So let's put that in. Boom. One, two, three, four. So it's to go there. And this wants to go. Ooh. All right, this one is making more sense to me. Let's take the red. Da -da 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 -da. Now what's the solution for this one? One, two, three, four, five, five and two. All right, that's not easy. Two, three, four, five, two. Bam. Hey. I'm getting the hang of this game now. Follow me into the door. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, level five. So yeah, I'm really feeling the horror vibes from this game so far. Um <laughs> big gog. Okay. And the notice. But as you grew older, things started changing. You're no longer a cute tiny kitten. 
zero 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 zero. Okay, we'll come back to you. Let's go check out the other side first. So, what do we have on this side? Oh, let's take that out. <laughs> Ah, uh, oh. Alright. Um. This gem. Gem collected. Light bulb. So, this is telling us how the uh, machine works, I guess. Oh, well, in that case, light bulb goes over here. Wheel goes on here, maybe? Yeah, and then I need some sort of wire or cable to connect it from the looks of this. Yeah, so I need some band of some sort. So I assume the band is in there, but how do I know the code is? Oh, there's the band. Let's take it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> so I still need one light bulb. Okay, so what do I have left? I have this color puzzle and this box. Oh I'm sure that could have been done in less uh, moves. Okay, there's the light bulb. There's the gem. There, whoop, there it is. Okay, so this goes in here. I feel like I should have turned the machine off before putting the bulb in, but you know. Uh, two, three, six, four. Nice. Two, three, six, four. Two, three, six. Whoa. Two keys. A square key and a triangle key. Ow. In that case, triangle key. <laughs> okay, this is a very cool door. I have to give you, I have to give you credit for that. I think if you like doors, you should play this and you should play Starfield, because, uh, yeah, they got doors for days. <laughs> Seriously, I was playing Starfield uh, a while ago, and it was just like, you go through a door and it's like, Shh! and then you have to let the uh, pressure for the other door, and it's like, Shh! and it's so slow, like. <laughs> okay. So first things, let's look at the top. Nope. So someone's going to go there. Okay, look at water. A gem. Hogs that don't do anything. Oh, in that case, water goes here. I was gonna pour out a gem or something. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I've played puzzle games before. A star. A starion. A starion is born. What? What is... Uh. So four, two, three, one. I guess that's the options here. Or... Ah. Uh. Huh. Come back to you. Steam man. Okay. Camera reveal. Blue gem. Nice. And it's one of these puzzles. Okay, so let's go. Nom. 
No. No. Ah, <laughs> do you like that noise? <laughs> Does make it sound like it's being eaten? Nom, nom, nom. Okay, let's look at me. Okay, cool. Gets me a projector. Okay, never wait. Engineering school was a wedge that separated you from your friends. I've never been to engineering school. Turn this on. Okay, now we're rolling. A, B, C. Can I move this? Aha! Well, okay. So A4 is the Xbox symbol. How I'll do it. So Xbox symbol. B is two, which is prison bars. <laughs> there we go. C is three, which is tiny dot. I think that's that. And one is triangle, triangle. Oh, uh, that one. Hey, ah, that's such a cool game. Let's open the door. Let's go quantum leaping with the cat. <laughs> okay, I'm really liking this game. It's just something really nice about it. It's chill, it's cool, you know. Uh, it's making me use my brain, but not so much that I feel dumb. Uh, yeah, good, good game, good game. Okay, I didn't look at what this level was called. Uh, it's too late now. So, let's take a sprocket, a gem, take a valve. Oh. So give me another valve, a bucket. Interesting. What are you? Another sprocket. Let's put red valve here. Um, break whatever this machine is. So it gives me a bolt. Right. <laughs> um. C1, A2, B3. Don't know what that means. Look at that jam. You turned into a shadow of your former self, blind to the beauty in the world. Alright. <laughs> uh, bolt? Okay. I didn't change the... Oh, okay. I didn't tighten the bolt. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. C1, A2, B3. C1, A2, B3. Okay. Uh... C1, A, two. Hmm. B3, okay, C1, A2, B3, oh, there you go. I played Bioshock, I understand how pipes work. <laughs> oh, nice, we made a Tesla coil or something similar. 
Okay, that's cool. So that opens up the bars, then we get to drop the uh, sprockets in. Very cool. Oh, there's a glass case there. <laughs> um, diagonal down, right and left. So you want to go right, you want to go left, and you want to go diagonal down. So you have to close the door. There we go. I mean, I'm pretty sure I was correct anyway. So it's like, uh, you have to be very careful. And we go through. Bam! Level 7 complete. Uh, what was that one called? Negative charge. Okay, that's a good name. Uh, and I have nudged my camera, so let's just fix this. Well, I guess I'll play f till I get bored or till it seems like it's been quite a while. And then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I guess. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more and I'll do the other chapters and uh, continue. Um, what do we have? Diver's helmet. Blue key. I didn't see that. I just clicked. When in doubt, just spam clicking because uh, it seems like it's a good solution. So we have a door that I can't touch. Wow! Not sure what that's for. Oh. Interesting. I did not have that code. Let's spin you around. What do we have? So we've got a pipe that needs connecting. Mita. Okay. Aha. Up. Big triangle, little triangle. Let's go around to here first. So. Big triangle. Yeah, small triangle. Mita! What did that do? Aha! At least one bolt. I was a bad cat dad. He was in a new bag and uh, was meowing to be like, Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> Alright, so what is this? Ah, okay. There we go. I don't know what that was about, but uh, it seemed to work. I guess this fixes the pipe. Yeah. Which drains the water, of course, and lowers that. Yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> sure, I'll take this key. Press this. Oh, and a gem. And I'll hit this lever, because... Science. Um... Uh -huh. I don't feel safe. Alright, let's use the screen key. Let's hit a screwdriver. I'm pretty sure I could take that screwdriver by, you know. Okay. So I've got a screwdriver. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could have just grabbed that screwdriver through the bars. Like, this wrench here, that's, that seems like too big to go through. So, at least I understand. Oh, I missed the scroll. The boating incident was a brief wake-up call. What boating accident? Is this, uh, telling a story? Like, um, I'm in Limbo or something, and this is like the story. Oh, a gem. <laughs> uh, and like, this is the story being told through Limbo or something? Uh, I haven't used this yet. Okay, so what do we have? I haven't done... Aha! This wrench on the diver helmet. Yeah! Okay. What does that give me? Cloth piece, aha! Cloth piece means I can wipe this. Yes! Aha! Oh! So. Bam! That's two! 
sometimes it's quite hard to record videos when you have a cat that meows to go out and sits there meowing because you either have to bow down to cat terrorist demands or let the cat go wow, 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 in the background of the video for a long time. Nita, I let you inside. Why, why are you still mowing? You've been out, you've been in. Uh, now I think I use the screwdriver on here because it's kind of coordinated. Yes. And that gets me open this. Uh... Oh. So right across, mini triangle. Hey, that's the last one. And now let's make this door. I feel like I should be putting on the helmet first though. I'll just put this diving helmet on first. It's a very cool uh, image again, so let's take a screenshot. <laughs> and let's follow the cat. Level 9, Golden Gate. This might be a good for when I'm ill actually. This this be a good game, I think. So, what do we have? We have some sort of key that wants to go here. Okay. A candle? Oh. Take it. Um. Oh. I'm, I feel really bad. I'm just breaking all these like beautiful doors, you know. A violet diamond. I think. Oh. Candle. Alright, what candle break is that? Okay. Oh, gem. Thank you. Uh, what are you? Are you? Okay. So let's spin you around. You spin me right around, baby, right around. <laughs> Four. Okay. I feel really bad just destroying all of these. Red gem. Yeah. Alright, so I assume that these are going here. Okay, I can spin it around. That'll do. Interesting. Does that give me something? N no? Symbol. Aha. Uh -huh. I, I seriously love these, like, Thor-esque traps uh, designed for rooms. What's that? A green ball. Oh, I hate these puzzles in every game. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe green ball goes in here. Okay, well that's nice and easy. Three and something, something four. Two, three. I gotta do this. Um, can I just skip it with a clue? Oh, thank God! I hate these puzzles. Oh, I'm so bad at them. <laughs> uh, fire diamond. Is that what this is? Aha! Gives me a key. Nice. Turbans. This. Okay. Which gives me blue ball. <laughs> um, okay. So we drag this down here. Gives me more numbers. Three, one, two, four. So assume it's three, one, two, four. So it'd be one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah. And if that didn't work, we'll do three, one, two, four. Now what's up in here? So one, two, three. So that. One. Oh. This is. Oh. It's 
poltergeist in dinner. Uh, I'll take it. One, two, three. Because I was thinking it'd be like one, two, three, and four. Or it'd be like one, two, three. One, two, which I had there. Oh, long to complain. Thank you, cat. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it'll do. It'll do, pig. I'll do one more, and I'm done. I think. The red lantern. Okay, let's end on ten. The spooky lantern level. Uh, so let's pull this up if I can. No. No, I can't twizzle that. So let's go back through. Oh, gem. There you go. Take me a gem. And a scroll. For a while there, you were getting control over your life once again. Okay. Okay. Um, still cryptic. Ooh. A key. Do you want the key? You do want the key. Haha. Ah, but you want two keys. Two keys. How about these things? Do you... Ah, red gem. Ah, an edge key. Thank you. Give me the key, please. So there was, uh, like, a slap behind, but let's uh, put the key in here. So what do you give me? Um. Ah. Okay. So you probably want to be like here. There we go. What does that give me? It gives me a cog. Why does we need a cog? Don't know what this one. So let's come back to you. Does the cogs go in here? Don't think they would. Okay, we're playing like. Okay. There you go. So, that opens the door. Excellent. Does that let me apply the cog? Okay. Aha! Okay, so it rotates that, which raises these little statues. What did the statues do? First, let's go back into here. Anything in here. Oh, we're done there. Ah, uh, okay, so these statues go on top of the pillars, and they probably weigh, so they make them fall down. Yeah! Alright, there's two of them. This level's much easier than the last one, I don't have to do those slidey puzzles, which I'm so bad at. Um... Nice. Yeah, that last level... That <laughs> That last level was like crazy hard basically compared to this one. And then I won't. <laughs> nice. Level 10 complete. Woo! Right, that was Doors Paradox. Um yeah, pretty fun game, I like that. It's definitely uh definitely nice and chill, good vibes. Um so uh let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me do more. I mean there's loads more levels. And if you like these kind of games, let me know because there are plenty of puzzly games that or other types of games. They have kind of horror vibes that aren't quite horror, but they are definitely a bit creepy and uncomfortable and, you know. Uh, and I'm, I'm happy to play them if you want to see stuff like that. So yeah, uh, let me know and uh, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description so you can find the game for yourself. And if you like the video, consider liking, subscribing, leaving a comment and all that good stuff because it definitely helps the channel grow. And with that, I hope to see you again sometime soon. Take care. Bye!